and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain TV. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safariya Palace the U.S. Defense Secretary Ashton Carter. His Majesty hailed the historic relations between Bahrain and the USA in various fields and in particular the military field. His Majesty noted the cooperation between the Kingdom and the U.S. which aims to achieve the best interest for the two countries. During the meeting, His Majesty the King discussed with the U.S. Defense Secretary the recent global and international developments. As His Majesty affirmed Bahrain's support to all efforts aiming at maintaining security and stability in the region, noting United States' major role played in maintaining security and stability on the international level. For his part, the U.S. Defense Secretary expressed appreciation for meeting with His Majesty the King and hailed the consolidated ties between Bahrain and the U.S. on various levels. He also hailed Bahrain's remarkable role led by His Majesty the King in maintaining regional security and stability. The personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Olympic Committee and Honorary President of Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, brief His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, crowned the winners of the National Day Endurance Race Championship. His Highness Sheikh Nasser hailed the level of competitiveness in the race, which reflects the advanced level of the Bahraini endurance sport. His Highness expressed optimism regarding the upcoming endurance race and affirmed the keenness of the Royal Equestrian team to discover new talented riders. His Highness Sheikh Nasser congratulated the winners of the race and expressed appreciation for the organizing committees for their role in the successful hosting of the race. Here's Mohammed with the latest sports news. Thank you, Sarah. Good evening and welcome to the sports news on Bahrain TV. Al Ahli defeated Al Rafa 2 1. Al Ahli Diego gave them the lead after 20 minutes when he managed to dribble his way to the edge of the box and unleash a right footed shot, which the keeper found impossible to stop. Uchi of Al Ahli scored in the 55th minute from the penalty spot. Uchi placed a shot on the right side of the keeper to give his team a 2 0 lead. The 69th minute saw Mahmoud Al Musawi score Al Rafa consolation goal. The win sees Al Ahli settle in fifth place with 11 points after eight games while Al Rafa stayed in seventh with 10 points. يبدو حاد 
الحد اوفركيم ايس رفاع 1-0 in an 8 round match of the Bahrain First Division Football League played at the Bahrain National Stadium last night. Al-Had scored their only goal of the night in the 22nd minute after a long ball fell loose in front of the striker Okra. Okra took advantage of the keeper's earlier dive to give his team the lead in the match. The result sees Al-Had lead the table with 18 points from eight games while Israfa stayed fourth with 11 points after their eighth game.